Well, Merry Christmas, everyone. I can't believe it's already here. The time has just flown by ever since it really hit Thanksgiving. Like, honestly, it feels like yesterday I was just eating turkey, but here we are. It's absolutely crazy. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today, whether it be at home, whether it be at your family's house, you know, with friends, whatever it is, maybe you don't celebrate Christmas. I still hope you have a really nice day. Even with everything going on in the world right now, I hope you're able to navigate that and still make the best of it. Today, obviously, is day 12, day last of the 12 days of Christmas. Already another season in the books here on the Disney Docket Channel. Season 8 was a great time. You know, it's probably one of the most unique seasons just because we reviewed a ton of customs which is just super weird, you know, I can't believe I did that many customs, I can't believe I bought that many customs, but today obviously we have something that is not a custom, and that is the 2021 Piston Cup Race 11 pack exclusive to Target stores, and this is just a monstrous pack, I, I have not reviewed a multi-pack in a while, so we're gonna see, I mean I reviewed like a 4 pack a couple months ago, but this thing is an 11 pack, like whew. I don't know if I'll be able to tackle this one, but we will try our best. The suggestors today are Cars Forever. You are a member of the channel and you know exactly who you are. Thank you so much for all the support you give me on my videos. It really means the world to me. And thanks for supporting the channel and being a member as well. And then Zach Richer, thank you as well for the suggestion. Not many people suggested this again. I think a lot of people want me to review it like throughout the year. They were like, hey, can you review this? But no one really suggested it for the 12 days of Christmas. So I guess it's kind of a win-win for everyone. I hope you enjoy this review. It's really going to be a Chinese to Vietnam comparison. I have all the Chinese cars here. You know, of course we have Finish line, Lightning McQueen, we have the King, we have Christina Whelan, everyone in the pack, and we're going to compare those Chinese versions that were released years ago to these new Vietnam variations. Almost everyone is a new Vietnam variation, except for, I think, the King and Chick. Maybe Chick is, but either way, I know I have this King from the NASCAR Walmart 5 pack that was released earlier this year. So yeah, let's just dig in right here. It's got the nice typical artwork of Chick, Lightning, and the King, which is just promo art they use for the movie. Like this art actually, or this scene never appeared at the Motor Speedway of the South. Like they took one of Chick's poses, they took one of the King's poses and McQueen's and just kind of spliced them all together. And it looks pretty cool. Of course, you have 11 racers there. Choking Hazard, Piston Cup Race 11 pack, super generic name. You have the metal logo just to reassure you that these are die cast metal. Now, there is nothing per se new, quote unquote, in this pack, except for those tires. This is the first time ever Mattel has released the Rust Ease or Lightning McQueen's tires with the Lightyear text on them. Believe it or not, they've never done that. The last time they released Not Chuck, the tires looked like this. They did not have the Lightyear text on it. And when they released Not Chuck in the past, they had that thin stack of tires that is completely inaccurate to the film. And I will show those later on. So yeah, the tire stack is the only thing that's technically new. Everything else is just a variation. On the side here, oh my goodness, I just knocked down my tree. Nice job, Disney Docket. Anyway, Piston Cup Race 11 pack. These are very plentiful at my local Target, and hopefully yours is as well. Let's see the little description here in the top corner. Piston Cup Race 11 pack. The stadium, the crowds, the heat of the track. All these racers are ready and focused with their eyes on the same prize, winning the coveted Piston Cup. And you can see the inclusions are, my name is not Chuck with cart, that's a mouthful. Christina Wheeland, Tongue Lightning McQueen, that's actually wrong, it's called Finish Line Lightning McQueen. Tongue McQueen is an entirely different car when he is just sticking his tongue out as he flies through the air. So Mattel, not happy with you there. Strip Weathers, aka The King, Chick Hicks, Superfan Mia and Tia, 
Krusty Roder, the Vinyl Toupee Racer, Aiken Axler, the Nitro Racer, Bert, the Cameraman, and then Dexter Hoover with Checkered Flag. I love all these images. Like, they're so crisp. They look so clean. So, I'm really happy with that, actually. But yeah, that is everything for the box, and I'll be right back with them all out of the package. I must say this is a great starter pack for any new collector it has a little bit of everything you know you got your three main character racers in there a couple ancillary racers like Krusty and Aiken you have the fan you have me and Tia Dexter Hoover kind of some more peculiar intricate cars like not Chuck and Bert so a really great pack and super easy to find here at USA Target stores so I have to applaud Mattel for that. For old time collectors, not such a great pack because it doesn't have anything new besides this little tire stack. Pretty funny about that. But anyways, we're going to just dive right in here with all the comparisons. You guys already know where all these cars appear in the movie and I've reviewed a lot of them in the past. So if you want to see those more in depth reviews, you could check out them on my channel. And so this is more of a Thailand, well, not Thailand, but Vietnam versus China. All right, we're going to start with the king here. So like I said, I do already have a Vietnam variation of him that came out in that NASCAR 11 pack, 5 pack, a couple months ago. And you can see that there's actually a variation in between these two and the eyeliners. The one from the NASCAR pack is much thinner than the one in this 11 pack. That's so wild. I can't believe it. Wow, they're even different in the color of the Dynaco logo. The size also looks a little different. These are both Vietnam, right? Yeah. Oh my god, this is so weird. You guys have to look at this. So look at the base on this one. Made in Vietnam. 1970 Plymouth Superbird. It's got all that stuff. And then here, all the stuff is misarranged. You have May in Vietnam down here instead of being up there. That's so odd to me. Like, everything's like flip-flopped. Huh. These are made in the exact same place. Maybe different factories, I guess. But I can't believe they're so different for being made in the same country of origin. That's so odd to me. It looks like the rims are shinier on the NASCAR version. This is insane. Let's take a look at the contingency sponsors, see how clear they are or how blurry they are. They look pretty good. Yeah, they look pretty good on both of these. I know Thailand probably wouldn't do as good a job. Here's now the Chinese, the king, and his sponsors look honestly not super great. I think Vietnam did a really nice job with the contingency sponsors here on the king, making them look as good as, if not better, than the Chinese version. Yeah, they're better. Look at that. No stall. Mood Springs Violin. They are way clearer than on the old Chinese version. So I have to applaud Vietnam for that. Now the number, for example, is not as clean cut as on the Chinese version and the other decals as well. But they did a good job with those contingency sponsors. Very nice. Yeah, the eyeliner doesn't look great. Like it's really thick on this version here, as you can see there way thicker than on the NASCAR version, which is really what gets me. I, I don't know how that happens, but yeah, I'm happy with it. Here you have your Chinese version there in the middle. So many of the Kings. Good thing he's a pretty cool character. I'm okay with it. Feels weird, but I'll allow it. All right. Now here we have one of my least favorites from the pack because it just looks so bad. <laughs> it's like they made his bumper the color of his tongue which is just not no <laughs> Mattel no that's not how it's supposed to be here so yeah as I've said in the past in like the 2009 the 2011 range when they did a lot of mouth plates like this and they did these mouth plates so it was easier to switch out the models you know so if they made like a Chucky for example 
they could switch out the mouth and then bam, you have Matthew True Blue McCrew or bam, you have Dash Boardman. And that's kind of a bad example because those also have like the holes for the accessories. But let me think of a better one. Literally scratching my chin right now. Jamie. Okay, so Jamie, for example, switch out the mouth plate and then you get Nick stickers. Okay, so that's a pretty good example. So the, yeah, they did that a lot, and especially on main characters like this here. So it was easy to you know make a finish line Lightning McQueen like this. So they this is like the original release, the very first one they did in that three pack, and they did a great job of connecting the mouth plate to the main body in terms of color. You know, like the colors match. Like it's almost the exact same red. It's not the exact same red. It's almost the the exact same red shade. And it makes it look better. I mean, obviously you still have the major crack dividing them, but it looks much better than this when they just completely botched it. I mean, that just looks terrible. It's so much darker. It's blatantly the wrong shade of red. And honestly, it just makes it look like it's entirely the inside of his mouth like they made literally the color of his tongue so not happy with that at all but gotta look past it the eyeliner there not too bad but <laughs> Man, who am i kidding it's pretty bad yeah, the logo looks a little fuzzy they do make the Axles a little I don't know how they do this, but I think they bend a little bit. So the tires are kind of pressed outwards to Emulate the pose he had in the movie. Oh my goodness. Those contingency sponsors look awful Look how much better they look on this Chinese version So how do they go from making the Kings contingency sponsors look clearer than the Chinese version and then making McQueen's look worse. I just don't get that at all you could see how much just messier and fuzzier they look. Ugh. Same thing. It just looks faded. It looks like it's been out in the sun too long. All of these decals. And then they cheaped out on the bare rims back here. Like they just look brand new. As if they came right out of the factory. You know, fresh red. Whereas they should look all charred and beat up from grinding on the asphalt for a half a lap or whatever it was. I guess they did a little bit. But... Definitely not as much as on the Chinese version. Wow. God, I know I'm really bashing this guy, but he really is not a good release at all. They really did not do a good job. So you have Rusty's Mac A bumper ointment there. They completely changed the size of that yellow sticker. It's way smaller now, whereas before it would cover like the entire bumper. Huh. Interesting, interesting. The only thing that looks better is the gas cap. It looks nice and clean cut, whereas before they would do like an impression and then they would punch like the gray dot wherever and would always land astray. So as you can see there, it's way off target. Yeah, but that's pretty much the only good thing that this Vietnam version has going for itself. My goodness. <laughs> yeah. I hate to be so negative, but I'm just being real with you guys. Like, it just does not look good. All right, here we have Christina Wheeland. So she is just a, you know, Piston Cup fan. She's unbiased, not exactly ruined for anyone. And here is the Chinese version that first came out in, I think, 2015. I know, no. Yeah, right? 2015. It was either 2015 or 2016, I believe. And then she was released in 2017 with JW in a two-pack. So now she's back in this 11 pack. The shade of blue looks a little lighter. Her mouth looks narrower. Maybe it's just me, but let's take a closer look here. So Chinese version on the left, Vietnam version on the right. Yeah, I don't know if it's just me, but the mouths look narrower or the new mouth looks a little smaller. Huh. The grill looks a little smaller there as well. Let's take a look at the flags. Yep, a little blurrier. The post that she has here is a darker gray, which looks better. I like it because it's more realistic. Her eyes look a little different as well. The expression's a little bit narrower. Again, she's not looking as surprised. <laughs> she's more just kind of looking off to the side where this is just pure bewilderment. 
and some eyeliner, but not as bad as McQueen's. She's got different wheels now. Well, kind of the same, but the spokes are punched out. Definitely a slightly different shade of blue. Let's see the license plate. So we still have Chinese on the left. You have 73. WJS and then 73 WJS. Cool, cool. Let's take a look at the base. Made in Vietnam, of course. All right. Yeah, she's not bad. Finish line McQueen hopefully is the worst one we're going to get today. Now, I do have actually a prototype of this Vietnam Christina Whelan. I, at least I think it is because just recently a bunch of prototypes hit eBay. Like an absolute boatload from the same exact seller. And one of them was actually a Vietnam Finish Line Lightning McQueen. I did not get it, but it was Finish Line Lightning McQueen, an unfinished version, and the base said made in Vietnam. Now, unfortunately, not all prototypes say anything on the base. Well, I mean, unfortunately is objectively or subjective. Like sometimes it's good that they don't have anything because it makes it look a little bit more unfinished. Some people like that, but then you can't really tell where it comes from. Like what was this the prototype of and could be a canceled Thailand version of Christina Whelan because I have a canceled JW here. As you can see, it says made in Thailand there. So, and we never got a Thailand JW. So this is a canceled version for sure. And since the characters go hand in hand all the time, it's very possible that this also was that, or it's just a prototype for the Vietnam version, which is also possible because of the Thailand or the Vietnam Finish Line McQueen prototype I was just telling you about. Sorry for the confusion there. And it's really hard to tell. I would probably say it's for the Vietnam version. As much as I think it would be cooler to say like, oh, it's a canceled Thailand prototype. I'm just trying to be realistic. But that is one of my favorite prototypes I've gotten lately. I love that lime green color. All right, we're going to move on to Aiken Axler here. Aiken's been made everywhere and everywhere multiple times because he was made in Thailand in 2006, right? That was the original version. And then he was made in China for many, many years. And then he was made in Thailand, right? He got a Thailand release a couple years ago in 2019, I think. And then now he's being made in Vietnam. So it's kind of wild. He's had quite the journey. You know, for Christmas, guys, my gift is that I'm going to compare him to the Motor Speedway of the South version of Aiken here. That is correct. This is an official Motor Speedway of the South version. And it's limited to 1,000 pieces, so I better be careful, right? But first off, you can see that the eyeliner or the eyes just in general look a little different. That's all I'm going to say. They look a little different. Nitroade logo looks a little blurrier. Still has pretty much the same expression. You can also tell that his wheels are very inward, like the axles are very short. They don't poke out at all. See, now they did a good job on the contingency sponsors on him. Like, they look solid. Yeah, they probably even look better than the Chinese Motor Speedway of the South version. So whatever it was about McQueen's on finish line here, they just could not do it. <laughs> They absolutely botched it. Oh my god. Man, it looks so bad. Like, I'm looking at it right now, and like, I can't even tell what this one says. Revolting Jesus in the morning. Wow. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this looks way better. I'm glad that they did a good job here. They also made the rims look a little gunmetal grayish, whereas before they were pretty much black. So that's interesting. Look at that massive silver paint blob there on the gas cap. I think they did a really nice job with Aiken. All the decals look pretty solid, especially on the sides here. The roof and this here looks a little blurry, of course, but as we know, it could be worse. Very cool. All right. Let's move on to Chick Hicks. He's been kind of chilling back there. I think he's my least favorite from this pack. 
just because he looks the most similar. <laughs> I don't know. I guess that's a good thing, right? But for this review, we're trying to show off all the differences. He's a little purer shade of green, not as light as before. Got pretty much the same expression. Oh, they painted his teeth finally, so that's kind of an interesting addition that I really like, that they added the white paint there for his teeth. Honestly, it really changes his entire expression. It looks way better. Hostile Takeover Bang. Now, he has a ton of contingency sponsors. And yeah, they all look really good, actually. All right, let's compare that revolting logo. See that revolting logo there? To that revolting logo. Like, this is literally the same multi-pack. The same factory are making these. And yet, you get that and that. They're both revolting contingency sponsors. Ugh. Gives me the willies. I could look at Chick Hicks all day. At all of his sponsors. He has Texas Tea. For room, lots of cool little Easter eggs, lots of companies that actually are not piston cut racers. Like Sludgy right there, you could see. You have a Team Chick logo. Lots of cool stuff. You have some alternate logos for the main sponsors, like that Vitaline can. There's Varoom, like I was talking about. Very nice. All right. Bert. It is Bert time. It's been a while since we got a release of Bert, so this is pretty nice. I like his expression. It's pretty much the same, and they add the eyeliner, and in this case, I actually think it looks good. Might even go as far to say it looks like an improvement because it adds some depth and realism to that expression. Now, this is another mouth plate goer. And they botched it a little bit. So you can see here on the original version, he's like a metallic silver. And that is, you know, they tried to emulate that with the mouth plate there. Here they just made it a matte, well, not really a matte, but just a flat gray instead of the, like, I mean, they did a good job with the paint. Like, it's a silver metallic, and then you just go flat. Press sticker there, the Piston Cut press sticker looks a little blurry. Yeah, a little blurrier. Rims look the same. Let's check out the cameras. I think the camera on the new version looks pretty good. They outlined the lens in there a little bit better than they did on the old version, so I like that. Like, this looks like they stuffed snow in it almost, like a snow cone. That looks a little bit more realistic. Let's take a look at the back of the camera. Yep, nothing has really changed. See if the license plate's still the same. WES or WE6, WU. Oh, wow, look how much clearer it is now in the Vietnam version. Bravo. I could read that one way better than this one. Nice work, Vietnam. So, yeah, besides the mouth plate not being metallic, like it's just a flat gray, this is a really good Vietnam release. I'm really enjoying how much variety of quality we have in this multi-pack. It really is wild. Maybe it's just because Finish Line Lightning McQueen sets the bar so low and then everything else is just like pretty normal, right? It's like what you would expect. And I don't know, they just really, really botched Finish Line Lightning McQueen. But anyway, here we have Superfan, Mia, and Tia. Would have been nice if they did a new version of Mia and Tia. Even though there really aren't that many more they could do. But there are a few out there. Now Superfan, Mia, and Tia were released first in 2015 in the two-pack together. And here they are. And they look pretty much the same. You know, the expressions are Vietnamified. They're mulls. Huh, it looks like... What's going on here? Okay. There we go. Now we got things sorted. We got Tia on the left. Yep. So that's why their mouths are different. Tia's mouths are pointed like inward and then Mia's are pointed outward as in to our left and then Tia's are to our right there. It's very subtle, but it's a nice little difference. We're just going to take the two Tia's because obviously we know the decals are all the same on both of them. Oh, 
Ooh, <laughs> not super good there. There are kind of a lot of decals on Mia and Tia. Lots of room for air. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness gracious, what on earth is that? Just blob of nothingness. Like you're telling me that is that? Oh my god. <laughs> Ka-chow. Do you guys ever see those memes where it's like the Wi-Fi bar drops by one and you get something different? Yeah, it's like, this is literally the best version of that meme. It's like your Wi-Fi bar drops by one and you get a Vietnam car. <laughs> yep, the license plate looks good, though. It's hard to mess up three letters. I mean, it's so... <laughs> you could just so much easily tell that it's worse quality on these ones. That kind of stinks. I hate to be so negative, but, you know, you guys know I have to be realistic about this stuff and... I'll show you guys the different license plates here on Mia. But that's the only difference between the two besides the models. Alrighty. Saving the best for last here, aren't we? Krusty Rotor. So again, it's Christmas. You guys are going to see the Motor Speedway of the South version of Krusty here. And wow, oh my goodness, there are a lot of differences to touch on here with the Vinyl Toupe stock car. First of all, the pink is much more vibrant instead of like the lavender they used on the Motor Speedway of the South version, all the Chinese versions for that matter. The models look pretty much the same in shape, but instead of having that purple dividing line where the inside of the mouth is, they just made all teeth. So, you really never realize what such subtle differences make on the whole S stack of the car until you see it done. Like this makes him look so much different to me than that. Like this is like he's gritting his teeth a little bit. This is like just, I don't know, he's growling. And then Chick Hicks with the coloring of his teeth, it really makes a different effect. Wow, look at the coloring. So they made the pink more vibrant but then they made the orange of the vinyl toupee tax more goldish instead of orange of course you have the eyeliner now which don't do that disney docket it looks pretty good i'd say it's very sharp it's like some gunk like in between his eyes there i have no idea what that is still has his black rims of course VT, that vinyl toupee can looks pretty good. Contingency sponsors look solid again. So only Lightning McQueen is really where they botched it. Again, you could see the coloring differences between the 76s. So again, you have Vietnam on the bottom here, China on the top, vinyl top in a can. And that's illustrated pretty well right there. I love that artwork. They really should post like a full version of that online. I think that would be so neat. She'll never notice. So, yeah, they both are pretty clear. Just the color differences are mainly what you're noticing. And then you have the opaque windows versus the transparent ones. All right. I'm happy with Krusty. I thought he looked really cool in the pack and kind of was the main attraction to me personally just because I love my Piston Cup racers and Krusty is honestly one of the rarest Piston Cup stock cars from Cars 1. His last release was in 2017 just before Cars 3 came out so it kind of got swept under the rug. Here we have Dexter Hoover with checkered flag. So they added a little tongue to him which is interesting. I feel like they've used that mouth for Dexter before with the tongue, but he had a different flag for the releases because this checkered version from China just has the full teeth version, but the expression in the eyes are the same. Let's take a little look here. Piston Cup Racing Series, that's blurry. Here's the flag. Uh, I don't know if you could take it out. I'm not going to try and pull it out. I know you used to be able to, 
on the older versions, but I don't know if they just kind of fuse it all in there together, so I'm not going to risk breaking anything. He also has a mouth plate, if you can notice there. And he always has had that. It's just a little less noticeable on the Chinese version. Piston Cup, official, official, official. It was license plates A113CA. I never knew that Dexter Hoover had an A113 Easter egg. If you guys don't know, A113 is the office number in Pixar Studios for, you know, the office that just was really, I guess, monumental in development and creative thinking and whatnot. Everyone knows it as a Pixar Easter egg because it appears in every single Pixar movie. So yeah, there you have Dexter. Nothing too exciting about him just besides the blurrier decals. And then here we have another big attraction per se in the pack. Now one second here. All right, I just had to grab these <laughs> piddle tires here. So, not shock when he was first released in 2008, he came with these stacks of tires, which obviously are just incredibly inaccurate, and I would love to focus in on them, but I've been struggling to focus lately, as in my camera has been struggling to focus on just literally anything, and this is just way too small for it to even pick up on, so I'm sorry about that, but you could just tell that they are not accurate to Lightning McQueen's wheels at all, and then fortunately they changed the size to these and for a brief period of time they did release the stacks in this size with the light year tax like 2009 i think was the only year that they did that so easy idle pity jerry drive chain trunk fresh pity they all got correct size tires with the light year tax on so they were perfect but then 2010 mattel decided to cut some corners and they eliminated that light year tax and just made them look like this. And so then this guy got released. Well, hold on. When Not Truck was re-released in 2015, he came with this set of tires and this toolbox. So now we got kind of a mix of the two versions of Not Truck actually, because here you have the original 2008 version that did not have that gun on him but the expression looks a little bit more similar to the new version here you can see them all pretty clearly there so i'll just leave them but yeah 2015 version has the big blue eyes 2008 has the orange or the brown small eyes and then now you have brown small eyes again all three of them have different colored forks kind of brownish gray light gray darker gray He's got the gun on him. He's got the new set of tires, which looks really good. I'm really happy about this. They aren't super red, but they still look pretty good. That size is a little bit more redder. Rusty's 95. You have the bolts on the hat. 95 up top. So yeah, oh my god, what is that? Huh. Got a little piece of tape on mine. So the decals look a little blurrier, but as to be expected, right? I have the Vietnam tool cart on the right. It's a lighter red. Decal looks a little bit more faded. And that's pretty much all we can evaluate these guys on. Everything else is the same. All right. Then just compared to the 2008 version, the expressions definitely look much more similar. So it looks like they reverted from this one back to the original for the new one. So lots of stuff going on right now. I know it might be kind of complicated, but I hope you guys were able to follow along to all that. And let me know in the comment section below which car from the multi-pack is your favorite. A lot of stuff to love, a lot of stuff to not really love, but it is Christmas, so we're going to do a lot of loving today. Thank you so much for watching this day of the 12 days of Christmas. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, sorry for being a little negative, but like I said, I just am honest with you guys. Like, I don't want to say like, oh, you know, other roses and butterflies and lollipops. I love Mattel. Mattel is godsend. You got to be honest. Otherwise, 
I lose any credibility that I have. So thank you guys. Merry Christmas. Hope you enjoyed season eight of the 12 days of Christmas ending off here on a monstrous episode, but you know, I hope you enjoyed. See you guys soon for another video. Bye now.